is running. If nobody else is going to say it, then I will. I am so bored. I think it's pretty clear that we all are. None of us have to work today, and we all just seem to be, like, not in the mood to really do anything. Come on, there has to be something we can all do. A Paw Patrol episode marathon. We do that almost every other weekend. Play games on the Nintendo Switch? Nah, you rage too much, and last time you got trolled because we kept picking Baby Park. FYI, I'm still pissed about that. Truth or dare? That's more fun when we have more people. Pull a prank on someone? The last time that happened, we ended up angering a swarm of bees. But James was the one who originally angered the bees, not us. Did someone just say my name while referring to an angry swarm of bees? You guys better not be talking about that time when we were pulling pranks on each other. Um, sorry guys, I need to take this. Hello? Um, yes, this is Carly Haven. And who is this? Wait, what? Oh no, alright I'm on my way. Carly, is everything okay? I wish it was, but we need to go to Tyndale Valley's Community College, immediately. What for? I'll explain in the car. Finally, we're getting some action around here. James, I think it's better that you stay here. Hey, no fair. Why do you guys get to have all the fun while I'm stuck here at home? Do you really want me to be bored as fuck? Yes. We're just joking man. You can come with. I hate it when you guys do that to me. Oh, hey you guys. Stephanie, you got called here too? Yeah. I just got here about two minutes ago. I'm glad to see that Taylor's roommate called you up to Carly, thank goodness. What's going on? Is Taylor okay? I don't know. Taylor's roommate said Taylor was freaking out and then she locked herself in the bathroom. Now she's not coming out. Did Taylor tell you why? Nope, nothing, and it's not like her. Taylor and I are always telling each other if something is on each other's minds. Maybe I can talk to her. Please Stephanie. Lead the way. But of course Carly. Everyone follow me. Taylor. Taylor open the door. It's Carly. Come on out. Please, and tell us what's going on. I'm worried about you. Stephanie's worried about you. Jason and Jessica are worried about you. And what does that make me? Chopped liver? Be quiet. A piece of paper? Maybe there's something written on it. It's possible Taylor doesn't want to tell us with her own words about what's going on, but would rather write it down on paper for us to see it. That probably is making it easier for her. Take a look Carly, let's see if Stephanie is right.
To whoever is reading this piece of paper, please give it to my sister Carly immediately. Carly, if you are reading this, then I am in a desperate situation. Just before bed last night, I was doing some final preparations practicing my singing, in time for Four Reels upcoming performance at Tyndale Tide. I wanted to make sure, that I was in perfect sync for when we were ready to begin practicing. But then, when I woke up this morning, I found out that I wasn't able to speak. Not a single word was able to come out of my mouth. It's no wonder that Taylor has been unable to say anything. She lost her voice. And what's said on that paper is true. Four Reels is performing at Tyndale Tide. It's part of a party that the hotel hosts for all the employees. When is that babe? It's this weekend. And we've already agreed with Tyndale Tide management that Four Reels would be performing. But if Taylor is unable to sing, she can't perform Carly. This is very bad. Do you see visions of the sea to fly so high as you could be?